All right, guys, Supreme Kama here, and today we are going to be talking about some of the exchangeable units here. So that is going to be pertaining your multi-mission coin exchangeable units. So uh, we are going to start things out with the input, uh, start input skin them because that is like a completely brand new odd version. Um, as far as the Zaku Amazing or the Extreme Gundam, they, I, I believe I've done video on them already. I, I'm going to go back and double check. If I have not, I will come back around and do it. But if not, if I've done them, let's say, solo video for them, I'm not going to go back and do it again. Um, you guys can simply go ahead and search it up. But I'm um, sorry, Impost, we have a total of uh, eight parts to Otters. So uh, let's just take a look at the universe. Um, I'm glad, you know, when they made these sort Impost here, or just any of the Impost. They actually went ahead and followed the actual master grade, the um, the actual sprite. So this thing looks absolutely amazing. <laughs> no pun intended. Um, you see that there are a lot of good you know details, but unfortunately, being a mobile game, there's just really really pixelated. If they could have made it where possible, where all these details are really crystal clear, that would be amazing. But um, as far as we're concerned, having the master grade um, scaling this part is actually really good already. So that's that. I just want to quickly talk about just, you know, admiring how good it looks. So Austrian, let me see if there's anything that's really worth mentioning. Um, I believe I probably said that once already. But the leg part is, uh, or the legs is definitely one of the better ones to be looking at because of that uh, EXQ cooldown. So that's really, really good. Um, stat wise, obviously, is uh, not gonna be anything too impressive, um, even, even though they come out on a really later time, like you know, their post their anniversary, you expect them to have higher stats, but not really. Uh, these are actually just really, really bad. Um, as far as the trait, so first trait is honestly just you can just discount that uh, <laughs> for sure, like because we're not getting anything out of that. 10 armors gradually, are you, are you, are you, are you kidding, right? So yeah, that's that sucks. Um, as far as let's say the second trade, when, when armor is seventy percent or more, revive revive with fifty percent or more once. Um, I don't know. So this right here, you literally have to get one shot at like literally from seventy or I want to say seventy one percent HP downward, then you you're eligible for this one. If let's say you fall below 50% and then you're like, oh, I, I'm dead. Like, can I come back? Nope. Because the condition pretty much says you have to be above that. So it's either you get one shot it or this trait is going to be really situational. It all depends on how you're taking the damage, right? So if you're taking one of those, you know, let's say EX skill that does multiple parts. And I mean, like you, you get, you get down to zero HP essentially, but the enemy still continues. I, I don't. You're not eligible for that, and unfortunately, right? But uh, yeah, so this one is not not too good. Just situational. I want to say it's outright bad. It's just it depends on what your enemy is using, essentially. Uh, torso style wise is uh, not not amazing, obviously. Uh, tag wise, you do have close combat and then for base. Um, as far as let's say the part trace here. Uh, first trait is i wouldn't call it bad um, piercing ex skill piercing definitely works in let's say some specific situation um namely i feel like those challenges that would be good uh second three trait 26 percent chance of penetrating super armor i think this one is pertaining to like defender type when they have to shoot something like that um i wouldn't say it's like really really impactful so overall um i think this both these traits or definitely situational they're they're just not sure they're not like your primary source to be using stuff so yeah kind of kind of unfortunate that they give it that um what about the arms mm, stat are definitely really mediocre unfortunately this one is on the other end is actually not bad so with twin blade category equipped uh, mainly power base by 25 percent so on the dot on on release this one was good um, and then after alteration, you're gaining another enemy melee damage plus 40%. So that's good. But the only, I, I, I want to say the other complaints I have is like, you do have to use this one on for base. So if you're not fulfilling this one, which I don't feel like a lot of people would be, this one is bad. But if you guys can, uh, this one is definitely a really, really solid, you know, welfare free to play unit part. So that's really good. Link part, um, mentioned already, this is probably one of the better one to be looking at. Because so you're talking about. First of all, melee power had, or melee attack had to be above 7,000. 
and then with tag attribute which this one this part itself is a tag attribute so this one you're getting a whopping 30 percent on a tag attribute build so this one is a really good so this one definitely recommend 100 percent max has got out this one is just really good 30 percent on one singular part i know you are miss you you essentially is going to be missing another trait um uh, because i think i don't think we have anything that's above 23 percent yet but this one like if they would have combined both of them together that would be great but this is still really good but it's just that you're not getting an, an additional oof to it right still this is a really really good part um all right so back part we have the excalibur so this one is just a simple basic you know beat power uh, 21 seconds screw down three seconds for the first, first time usage so i don't think this one is going to be anything too crazy i think so we'll definitely try it out i don't i don't know if, if like the ex skill within the store infos is enough to take down the hash mall so if if it doesn't go right we'll definitely go ahead and try out the full damage on a friend battle uh, i think i think that should work uh we have the excalibur combined so this one's the couple of versions so not bad it looks pretty good and this one is actually still i guess this one is still a decent op option if you guys are let's say new um i think most part like if you talk about early on game game parts and all that they tend to put gunner and close combat together um nowadays you don't see it too often but back then it was numerous everything essentially has these two kind of combo or gunner type with protag and, and etc it's still good you know you're well close combat definitely going to be a melee attack so yeah at least you are gaining that melee power boost of 30 percent so you're still very good in my book so i would i would not discount it but it's just like you like naturally you wouldn't rank gundam type as your actual war attack on a melee build because gundam type does not provide any ad additional attacks for melee build so that's why uh what about the actual sword just the excalibur um mm, this one's bad yeah this one's super situational um just the burn you're not consuming the boosting and stuff yeah this one is just really you know um rng base so we would definitely not touch upon that the last release yeah we do have the mobile shoe so this one just essentially just a throw shoe i'm surprised they actually just made this one a b minus power so i don't know b minus power feels like a little bit weak you know they would have just made it like flat out be i'll take it but it's, it doesn't make sense why they're giving this one like a b minus but oh, oh well it's not much thing to talk, talk about that right um so not a lot of good parts honestly you know it's just something or just really situational and stuff but lane part definitely really good arm part is definitely really good as well as as well at last or at least we have the excalibur the blade one this one is good as well but or not this one excuse me not that this one this one is good the combined one so yeah i'm not i think that's it for the review for this part of it um uh, i think up next i will actually go ahead and try out the ex skill um i don't i don't think i'm going to expect anything big from them just because of the fact that they are that 21 seconds screw down so yeah let me do put this onto a build and then we'll go ahead and try things out all right so we are in um i don't yeah i'm just not really thinking like how the excalibur is gonna stick out he has one let's let's see though let's see mm, it's not, it's not, oh that's actually not too bad what about this yeah we just need more damage and the, the traits that i have is honestly i need buffs for it so that's why it could have been better but yes yeah, that's not really too impressive overall so we barely took down like half bar so i guess i do have to go into the front battle and uh, see what's going on there all right so at the friend battle environment so this is definitely going to be the place where these two are definitely going to shine so let's try out the Hiroshi. yeah it quick you know 5.2 million just casually so we're gonna turn things around and then try out the back part EX skill, the Excalibur Nyx. All right, so Excalibur time. So I think this is probably, I think we will probably finish up the uh, running here without even like completing anything, all right? Yeah, one, one, one hit was it. Because like, first of all, my uh, friend over here, the, yeah, doesn't even have that many, 
that, that much armor. So that's why we were able to just kind of one shot it. I think that was just like a quick one million. That, that was it. So um, overall, I think that's pretty much it for the sword impulse here. Uh, there's honestly not too much to kind of go off here. Uh, there's definitely a few portrait within the sword impulse that I think is really, really impressive, given the fact that this is only a stand or a warfare unit. Uh, EX skill wise, definitely could be a lot more better uh, if they would have tossed in like a quick you know, new animation on the next one, that'd be great. Uh, I think these one definitely just not cutting it. Uh, we definitely want something that's a little bit more cinematic if possible. But um, other than that, that's going to be pretty much it for the Sword Impose uh, Alteration Review. And then I'll be catching you guys on, on the next one.